Hey there, welcome to It's All About The Cocktail. So today I want to do things a little bit backwards, a little bit different, okay? Instead of doing something and then getting behind the bar, this time I want to start behind the bar, then I'll make myself more comfortable and I'll tell you more about this, more about this product. So tonight I want to tell you about Jack Daniels 1915 Gold Medal. I'll tell you more about it when I'm sitting more comfortable. So, you know I'm always telling you at the end, I'll catch you before the next round. Well. Check it out. This round is on me. Somebody got me this bottle. Actually, Mitch and Michelle from We Acres Farms got me this bottle. I really like them. Thank you. I want to tell you about this. This Jack Daniels 1915 gold medal. So I was researching this. Some of that Jack Daniels gold medal, those bottles are well over 500 bucks. But this stuff is this product is distilled at 45% ABV, alcohol by volume, which means it's 90 proof, whereas your regular Jack is is 40%, 80 proof. So I, I compared a little bit to it last night. This got a very, very nice smoky flavor, and a lot of people like that, okay? But a lot of people like something a little bit more refined. So that's where this comes in, okay? So what do you say we make ourselves more comfortable? And I'll tell you more about this. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to... Now, different people like their whiskey different ways. Okay? Some people like it straight up. They don't like anything in there. Some people like a couple ice cubes. Well, you know, ice cubes, to me, just dilute too quick. I mean, that's why you want, what you want to do is... I mean, sometimes, like my wife got me these. These are grenade... Whiskey grenade stones. Um... My little, my little container got out of my freezer. Look at the frost in these babies. These things are super cold. I mean, we've gone through all the, gone through all the things, the stones, the plastic. See, the whole idea of these, you sit them in your drink and they're not going to melt. So it keeps your drink cold without melting. And the grenades are pretty cool, huh? Let's see if I can dig out another one over here. These grenades are really cool. Look at the frost in that thing. Okay. So, but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an ice ball and try an ice ball. Because that's the way I thought, I, the way I like mine is with the ice ball, it keeps the whiskey a little bit chilled. And as it dilutes, it makes, you know, and your first couple of sips are a little bit stronger than your last couple of sips. So let's get, let's get an ice ball out of our chiller. Now, I got this out of my freezer early and it's stuck in the chiller, so didn't dilute it and pull it out and be water. So let's just kind of plunk it in there. And then we're going to go and get ourselves, make ourselves comfortable. So stick with me. I'll tell you more about this. And I'll maybe I'll even tell you some more stories about We Acres Farms. Stick with me. Hey, welcome back to It's All About the Cocktail. So today I want to tell you about this Jack Daniels. 1915 gold medal. Now this was produced in 2002 to celebrate. They had they had a big competition in London, and it won another gold medal. This was to celebrate their fifth gold medal. They they won. So funny thing, let's pour, pour yourself some, right? Okay. Now, like I said. Some people like to put a little bit of water on their whiskeys because it opens up the whiskey. The actual water opens up the whiskey. But I'm going to do the next best thing, which is pour over a little ice ball, and then I get water and ice. I like to pour right over the top. Right over the top. Okay. Even got my little Jack Daniels official glass. How about that? So the color is like a like an amber apricot color. Think gold rum or gold tequila. Let's see what it knows. I mean, you get your wood, you get your corn. Okay. So, like I said, this was this was made in 2002, released in 2002. 
by the Jack Daniels Distillery to celebrate their fifth gold medal at the London competition. Oh, wow, that's good. Nice and smooth. So, this also was done by Jack Daniels' nephew. When Jack Daniels died, he had given the, ever since 1911, Lam. Lem Motlow has been the head of Jack Daniels Distillery, and this is to celebrate their winning ways. So, this is a very, very nice way to have it. Um, wow, that goes really smooth. I mean, you get the the being so cold kind of helps it helps it go down. But I'll tell you a little bit more. You know, before I even get started. I want to kind of get this out of the way and ask you if you would please subscribe to me. Then if you subscribe and hit the bell, then you're privy to all the all the previous videos I've done and you can see the whole library. And I'm trying to get something going there. I'd surely appreciate it. Plus, if you send me back a comment, tell me, do you like Jack Daniels? Do you like your whiskey on ice? How do you like whiskey? Straight up? Do you like mixing it? Let me know. Send me a comment. Okay, enough of that. Okay. So, I want to say a little about the people that brought this whiskey to you. We Acres Farms. Um, Mitch and Michelle. I never knew Mitch. I just saw the yellow challenger he used to drive all the time. I never really knew him. We used to think he was part of the witness protection program because you know, I never really knew who he was. But then one day, when I was out there with the snowblower doing the snow, I... Uh, I... I I slipped on some ice. I had some really slippery boots on. I slipped on some ice and I threw the plastic, hard plastic shovel straight up in the air. And I swear to God, I must have gone up like, like 20 feet up in the air. And when it came down, it came down directly, point first, on my leg. It hit me right in my knee. And I went down. Oof, and I, I tried to get up and I, I fell right down on the ground. And he was watching, he had a snowblower, he was watching me. And he comes over, Ray, Ray, you okay? And he picks me up and I fell right down. And every time he picked me up, I fell right down. So I dragged me into the house, told my wife, your husband's got, had an accident. She didn't know who that was, you know. There's a strange man down there calling my name. So she thought, I just like I hit, she thought I got hit by a snowplow. So she finally comes down. And I tell my wife, I'm okay, it's been 10 minutes. I get up and I fall right down. You know, you're going to the hospital. I ripped my quad tendon almost completely off. That big muscle that's behind your kneecap, that's what I ripped. Anyways, so the funny thing was, when I started researching this stuff, and I saw some of these bottles, like they, getting them on eBay, and there wasn't, I think they were like limited release, because they had a thing also where it said, register your bottle, register your, why would I want to register my bottle? I don't know, like I'm going to keep, my, keep it after it's empty or something. But when I opened the bottle to try it last night and tried to compare it against number seven, and then I want to take the top of it. I took I was my fingernail. I mean, like your girly fingernails or something. My fingernail must have sheared the cork off, and all of a sudden I sheared the cork off, and the cork dropped in the bottle. I'm like, oh my god! And I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh man, it was floating in the bottle last night. Like, did I ruin it? Oh, did I ruin it? But I just took, I, I took my wife's big mixing. She got a big mixing jar, big mixing, uh, what do you call that? There's a probably word for it. The, I took a big mixing cup and I poured, up, poured the bottle in there and then I poured it back with a few strainers and strained it all back in the bottle. So all good. All good, man. Thank you, Mitch and Michelle. It's got a nice, nice, smooth flavor to it. I mean, I can taste the, the corn, mild wood, vanilla notes. A smoky flavor is kind of very mild. Now, like uh, the number seven. That, that was, just, was very, very in your face, forward smoking. This is kind of in the background. But I do want to say, I mean, the stuff being a little bit more potent than your regular Jack Daniels does creep up on you. Uh, I mean, 
So I want you to use your head. If you're making drinks at home, that's one thing. But going out, drinking and driving, I mean, I really am a serious advocate for making simple cocktails at home. It's a whole idea here. I was sitting there thinking, this is probably, you know, with the with this coronavirus and everything, I shouldn't be putting videos up. But then I thought to myself, wait a minute. If people are sheltered at home, I mean, I'm doing a service. I'm showing you what to do in your spare time while you're sheltered at home. Plus, I saw a lot of people were searching Google. Does whiskey prevent coronavirus? Does whiskey a good... I mean, I think it is. I think it's good. Anti not antibody, have in your system. Ah. So, like I said, friends, keep a little bit closer. At the end of the day, I want you to remember, it's all about the cocktail. I'll catch you just in time for the next round. I'll see you later.